Mr. King, it is good to see you. How have you been doing these days? I'm a family physician, so I see patients of all ages, from infants uh, to old age, and order tests every day that I see them. And so we're sending off blood tests and sometimes biopsy specimens off to the lab. And then the tests come back and of course I convey the results and discuss them with the patient. But I printed out a copy for you. I thought it might be good. The primary care physician, the family doctor, serves really as a bridge between the pathologist who is actually interpreting the specimens and the patient where then I have to convey the message directly to them. For your long-term health, you're better off having your... If, for example, a relative comes to me and asks, well, what's a pathologist? I say, well, you know that tissue biopsy they took from you, I or another pathologist probably looked at it and we gave a diagnosis and talked to the clinician about what we think is going on with the patient. How many cells did you collect? Um, 20,000. 20,000. And for a lot of us, we have a passion for unlocking all those mysteries of diseases such like cancer or diabetes. Who do you expect to see? In general, a clinician has maybe 3,000 tests to choose from. When there's gas in the car, you never pay any attention to it, but when you're running out of gas, you do. But you have to have gas, and so as a family physician, I have to have a pathologist backing me up all the time and available to interpret laboratory tests, biopsies. We need a pathologist every day, day after day. A pathologist serves as an educator to the physician, as a collaborator, a co-worker, and that's a very, very important role of pathology today. I think anybody who loves to solve mysteries, that likes science, or likes working with people, this is a great profession.